a speaker, when he's doing the work of a speaker. Now, he should, be, he should position himself to listen to the debate on the floor and guide it. That's what it means. I see. His membership of a political party doesn't affect his independent mindedness? Should not. It should not. Should not. He's a politician. Yeah, should not. But if he does, it is because uh, he's just human, first of all. Secondly, then he's not keeping to the line of, uh, he's not keeping the principle of, object of uh, objectivity which the speaker should display. But can we blame him? He, he, he belongs to a, an organization that virtually gave him the position. And yeah. so if, if he, he can't be objective, can we blame him? Or yeah, her? you have to blame him because this is a job. He knows the position of the job before he accepts it. You understand? He knows that it is a, it is a human factor, there's a human factor in it. He knows that he's a member of a, a, a particular party. And then he's given that responsibility. He knows fully well what he's supposed to do. So if he does uh, something contrary to what a speaker should do, then he should be blamed. Dr. Jonah. Yeah, no. <laughs> I see your problem. No. <laughs> you see a problem? No, I see your problem. Okay. Parliament is a rule government organization. Right. What we, the fact that a person belongs to a party, what we need first and foremost is the person very familiar with the standing orders, with the, with the rules, the basic rules of the and house. procedures of the house. Two, does he have the strength of character to be very impartial because in parliament he's like a referee. He must be very, very impartial in conducting the debate it doesn't matter which party you belong to, you must get a fair opportunity, you must be given every... So, it doesn't really matter whether he's MPP or NDC. So, as soon as he's appointed to that position, will he be able to run the house so impartially that his party affiliation will not matter, will not intrude into... That is what is needed. Professor Michael Kay, everybody knows is MPP. Justice Annan, everybody... Was NDC. Was NDC. Um, but once you put him there, will he be able to apply the rules impartially? Partially? Is it somebody who's so very familiar with the procedures? That is what matters. So the rules are there, apply them and rent the house in a way that gives satisfaction to all sides. And applying that the rules, is he, isn't he going to or she going to tell no, you no, to look no, at you know, his party or a party color? A speaker who conducts himself in a very partisan way will leave a very terrible um, legacy. Where the national chairman of the of the of the party has been allowed to was. Once you are put there, you don't want to leave a legacy of the oh that speaker of parliament who behaved as if he was the MPP still the MPP no, no, no nobody wants that that speaker of parliament who behaved as if he was the so, 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 of the end no nobody wants to do that every speaker of parliament wants to apply they are human and once in a while they may do things that people may perceive or interpret mm. as being partisan mm. but every speaker of parliament so you don't look at where he's coming from you look at how He's conducting himself in the house. Whether he's come from NDC, the roots are not very important. Whether he's come from NDC or NPP is not what matters. Is he, is he running the house mm. in an impartial and non-partisan way? That is the crucial thing. And I can vouch for most speakers, they will do that. I see. They will do that. I, I, on, your, on your screen now, you can see uh, from, uh, former President Rawlings and uh, the AMA chief executive, uh, Mr. Oku in a, a hearty chat there. Uh, if you recall what happened uh, just a day ago when uh, the two uh, crossed each other on the red carpet to uh, the uh, State of the Nation address. But uh, this time we are in the house there, interacting there. And that's the beauty of democracy. Uh, the, the, the day before, we were not a very good time, but today we <laughs> are uh, engaging themselves in a hearty chat. Uh, Mr. Rollins walking up. Is that, is, that, is that part of democracy? That's, I, don't think, I don't think so. No, that's not what we call democracy. I see. No. But at least it shows that after all, uh, we're one. Uh, you don't think so? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. I don't think so. All right.
<laughs> okay. No, uh, honorable question, let, let, let's move on because uh, Dr. Jonah is saying that, I mean, no matter where you come from, and you also alluded to that, you need to show that impartiality. But it, the, the question is, can we have speakers who we can completely describe as not belonging to political parties or not persons who have showed their political colors? Well, in our system. Our system. In our system, uh, we may not be able to achieve that because every party in power would like to protect its interests as much as possible. Uh, so, uh, an NDC government may not necessarily mm. choose an MPP speaker. It's not possible. What is the reason? The reason Just protecting is, the party? The, 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 You're pushing the, reason, the person to, the be, to the, be partial? No, no, no. no. The, the reason is the advantage. What advantage? The advantage is that it is not, as we are talking about objectivity, that's why I say it's relative. Relative objectivity. You see? That's why, for instance, speakers are not supposed to take part in debates. So you look at the issue. Uh, sometimes, somehow, when his party interest is involved, somehow he may lean towards it. So then partiality comes in here. Yeah, uh, yeah but, but then partiality comes in here. Then. Uh, yes, that partiality we are talking about is relative. I'm talking about relativity. He's not an angel, and angels don't don't don't, don't become speakers. <laughs> <laughs> so being a human being and being a party man, sometimes that may influence him. You see, but it is not something he does all the time. Now, if you do that, you yourself you realize that you will not enjoy your tenure in, in, in the house. Ah, okay. So you I know, see. there will be a lot of resistance against you. Oh yeah, Doctor Jonah. The, apart from the fact that you 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 speak about the person knowing the rules of the house and the procedures and, and yes. procedures and all that any other competencies that is key to a person getting the not to become a speaker uh, generally generally in most jurisdictions as uh, speakers of parliament have been either former judges very experienced lawyers or people with top class legal background a legal background legal, is, legal, is key. Yes, legal background why because of the interpretation of the standing orders they need to be you cannot take just anybody who was a let's say a french teacher in a, mm. in a community day school to you know so generally all right most of the time okay they have all right the, the, Jonah, let's get to the floor now uh the uh, speaker of uh the not the speaker but uh, the the chamber is beginning to get very very active at the moment uh because uh looks like procedures about to start Members of Parliament are all uh, upstanding at the moment, yeah, you, okay. and uh, uh, they've gone back uh, to their seats, suggesting that some activity, uh, that's the maze that has been placed there, uh, some activity is about to begin uh, there on the floor. It's gone past uh, 12 midnight, uh, yeah, suggesting... We, we, we need to look at what is going to happen. <laughs> yes, uh, what <laughs> everyone is key on is exactly uh, what is going to happen. But, uh, you have gone through this several times. Uh, they got up when the maze was being brought in. What, what does it mean? The maze is authority of parliament. All right. And uh, you see, because uh, uh, parliament is not in session At as such. Mm. That's why it's put on the table. Mm. But if parliament is in session, it's put outright. It stands upright. Yes, it stands uh, uh, And so when outright. the maze is brought in, members so have it, to be upstanding. Yes. So if the uh, parliament is in the committee of the whole, the, 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 the maze will be removed from the average position and put uh, mm. over there. Now we are expecting a new parliament to be inaugurated. It right. is not yet a parliament. Yes, Members, sir. yeah. Yes, sir. MPC elect. Uh, MPC elect. Like like That's what we have. Yeah. take the oath. The right. oath is at least. Exactly. The, so the, 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 the clerk of parliament will administer the oath to each of the 275 MPs, MPs elect, mm. then they become MPs. Right. No, and that, but even then, they don't become 
MPs automatically unless they take the, the oath of allegiance before the speaker. So a speaker will have to be sworn in first after they have taken their oath. A speaker is sworn in and he in turn they swears them in. Yes, exactly. they, That's they, what they, they elect. They, they, they elect. They elect the speaker. Yeah, elect the speaker. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And the speaker makes them MPs. That's yeah, the point. They, they, no, no. They, then the speaker will administer the, 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 the oath of allegiance yes. will be administered to okay. them for the speaker. And then they become and, uh, MPs. Yeah, then they MPs. can take their seat. Okay. All right. So that's what they we see now. Uh, uh, the House is now, uh, the way they <coughs> all seated, it suggests then that uh, some activities are expected very soon. Mm. Mm. All right. And, and so uh, we we'll very soon will see uh, uh, some action in there. We're expecting the clerk of parliament to uh, walk into uh, the chamber uh, anytime, any moment from now. Uh, the maze, the, the symbol of authority, is uh, being sent in there. And uh, as Mr. Koshi uh, Kedem explained, uh, that's uh, the authority of, uh, of, of the House. And so uh, members had to uh, be upstanding while the maze was brought in there. And once so it's in uh, the whole, will, will take place before. The first thing they have hmm. to do is to elect the speaker. Right. And then elect the two deputy speakers. speakers. Right. Then the speaker will administer the, the oath of allegiance. Okay. So let's yeah. start from here. The, the, the clerk of parliament it's will in come chair. in here. It will be in the chair now. Yes. Right. And so for now, there's no speaker. And mm. uh, the, the, the clerk supervises so the, 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 the house. The clerk is the chairman of, of the house. Of the house. Right. Not the speaker, the chairman. Not the speaker. The chairman of the house yes. at the moment. Yes. And until a speaker is sworn in, yeah. he remains at the chairman of the house yeah. and all is done. So we're told that the, 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 the clerk is seated in the chair now. Uh, we will be joining uh, the feed from uh, the floor any moment from now. And uh, the so the first constitutional duty mm. is to elect the speaker. speaker. All right. And yeah. so uh, first constitutional duty of a house, as uh, Mr. Koshi Kadem said, is to elect uh, uh, a speaker. And uh, we'll see them there in the floor. You can see uh, these persons are waiting. Uh, these are the two key persons that uh, are likely to get the nod to be the first and second deputy speakers. You can see them in your shorts now, Mr. Uh, Avan Bagbin and mm -hmm. then uh, Jesus Mose Wusu, uh, Chatin mm -hmm. Hartley. And very soon we might see them um, uh, taking the oath. And that's uh, the uh, man expected to lead the minority side of the house, uh, former uh, employment or outgoing employment and labor relations minister. And the incoming Harina. minority leader. And the incoming <laughs> minority leader there. Mm -hmm. All of them uh, see that. And his deputy likely also to get the nod and veggie mr uh Kluche, uh there so uh, uh, can the, the the choice of leadership for both sides yes. uh, uh, the 